JPD is looking for answers after an elderly man is found stabbed to death at his South Jackson home. 12 News' Marie Menefield spoke with the victim's neighbors about the tragedy. Marie? Yes, Mel. Herbert McCombs was brutally stabbed to death at his Jackson residence. Now, neighbors are concerned for the future of the neighborhood. What's normally a quiet Jackson community suffered a great tragedy when neighbors found Herbert McCombs stabbed to death under his garage off Raymond Road. Residents in the area are shocked, saying they had a close bond with the victim. We ate at each other's house before, so these neighbors like family to me, so shoot. I really wouldn't know how to feel. I know that's hard. That's hard taking it because I watched my mama cry over it. My mama and him, my mama and him was real good friends, so I just know, I know how she feel. And With the suspect still on the loose, JPD is still looking for viable leads. Joseph Curry is concerned about the changing conditions of the area, saying it might be time to relocate. Well, shoot, really not even in Jackson. Just not even in Jackson because Jackson just turned to, the, turned to a whole nother type of place. It's a whole war zone out here for real, for real. I wouldn't even want my mama staying on these streets. Joseph says the current crime rate in Jackson and with many crimes being committed by the youth, the city needs more people like Herbert McCombs, who was the type of man that was friendly, generous, and willing to help others. Ain't too many OGs out here showing the young folks the right thing to do, so the young folks really take me in their own hands doing what they want to do. Herbert's brother, James McCombs, who was not able to speak on camera, said Herbert would have given the shirt off his back to anyone in need, and it was terrible the suspects attacked an elderly man living alone. Now, JPD says McCombs' death is the result of a robbery and are still currently investigating the homicide. If you have any information regarding this crime, contact JPD or Crime Stoppers. Marie Menefield, 12 News.